All right, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, talking about different offensive line blocks and terms you may hear. And if you're a guy like me who, you know, I'm getting a little bigger where I could play offensive line, but I wasn't that way in high school, I never knew all this stuff. And so as you start learning how to call an offense, you better figure out how to call the offensive line. And so I'm putting together an offensive line manual. It'll be out here in a couple weeks, I hope. And inside of this, I'm going to go through a lot of these things. Some of them apply directly to the wing tee, but as I'm starting to see now, watching football on Saturdays, Sundays, all the time, you're starting to see a lot of gap type blocking. And that's what I'm gonna focus on uh, with most of the stuff we're going through. So today we're gonna talk about pull kick. Yesterday, you can go back and watch, talked about down block, I'm gonna get into the different blocks, but today we're gonna do pull kick. How do we pull kick a defensive player? Uh, what does that mean? And then what's a real simple way to teach that? And I've got a lot more in-depth information on a lot of the materials you can go on the website or coach or whatever and get all that stuff or find a smarter guy than me if you want to. But here's what pull kick means. Pull kick for us, and we can go either way with this. So depending on the direction of the play, we're going to pull. So we're going to rip. We call it ripping the lawnmower. We're going to rip those hips open, take a depth step, and you can kind of see how we draw it. Take that nice depth step. Then we're going to run coming slightly uphill. So we're coming slightly uphill towards the line of scrimmage, and we're going to blow up the first thing we see. Okay, so we tell our guys it's pretty simple. If I'm going to pull right, I want to hit right. So in this case, we're pulling to the right. We're going to go out there, and we don't know what it's going to be. If you're teaching this to younger guys or you're kind of new to this world, a lot of times they want to ask who they're blocking. We don't know. Where are they blocking? We don't know that either, so we always assume worst case scenario. I tell them we want to scrape the paint coming off our offensive line. So that means if our tight end gets knocked back, you're probably going to hit him, and he'll learn quickly, don't get knocked back. Okay, we want to come as tight as we can, but we want to be coming uphill. So we want to get a little bit of an angle, which will allow us to root a player out. So if we're pulling right, we're going to hit right. Pull right, hit with your right shoulder, Okay, some defenses make it easy by coming up field. You know, they're built to penetrate, and, and those are simple ones. Some are tough. They're going to squeeze down there, and you got to find them. I'm not going to go into how we teach logging because that's a little more advanced. But we try to go 95% of the time, we're going, we're going to kick everything out. And we're not going to allow you to log. And to get that, you got to be nice and tight. We don't want to slow down as we approach. It's not a spatial block where you settle your feet and take it on. Those blocks have a place, not in this. In this, we want to run full speed, and we tell them if you miss, so you run out there full speed, and that guy's a great athlete, and he jumps, and you just completely whiff, that's okay as long as you make him jump that direction. That guy can run for a touchdown that way if he wants to. We don't care. If he runs that way, we're going to be coming up underneath it with our running back, and he's taking himself out of the play. So you come full speed, you make him take you on, and you root him out, and we're going to try to cut it up underneath there. And that's the simple definition of pull kick. It is a little bit different if you're used to teaching your guys how to screen block where they're going to settle a little bit. Okay? Um, and for us, a couple drills that we'll do, I think a lot of people have seen the hurdle drill we put on there. You can do cones or dummies. The point of emphasis you want on all of these is I want to run through the block, and if I pull right, I'm going to hit right. I pull left, I'm going to hit left. I'm going to take that thing on uh, with my outside shoulder and flipper that thing out and make that guy go upfield. Because all we're trying to do with a kick is create a gap. The bigger the gap, usually the better the play. So that's the easy way to handle pull kick. Tomorrow I'm going to talk about pull wrap. And then I'll get into some other blocks that we do. They're general blocks. Again, I've got a lot more detail on these and a lot of the courses I've got out. You can go find those either on my website or CoachTube or wherever. Appreciate it if you haven't already done so. If you'd subscribe to this channel, I've got, as you can see, a lot more coming this week and then other materials that will be coming out on this channel you know, uh, throughout the year. Appreciate it.